Welcome back, Jules. Did you know that you can paint with soft pastels? Like you can paint? Well, if you didn't, you know you do now. This picture was made by using a stencil and painting on these soft pastels using a dish of water, which is a little dirty because I was experimenting, but it doesn't matter. And using a sponge or a makeup sponge. I used a piece of a kitchen sponge that I cut off to do this. And so what I'm going to show you today is how we did this. So here we go. Alright, so I have my stencil here. Let me set it to the side. I have my paper here. I'm just using regular white cardstock. I mean, nothing too fancy. Nothing too fancy. So what we're going to do is we're going to first take our little sponge. And we're going to dip it in the water and we're going to clean it out. You may choose to use a fresh one. That's up to you. But I am going to turn this page upwards. Well, no, you can see it better like this. There we go. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take that wet sponge and we're going to rub across the pastels, which loads your color. And we're just going to rub on some color. Make a quick background. use any color you want to, but I'm using this just to show you that you can color something that's real white. Be careful, your paper will kind of curl up on you. I'm going to add another color. What we're going to do is going to blend. Blend those colors. You may get fingerprints on it. That's okay. It's your fingerprints, right? Just a touch of black. And just in case you do get those fingerprints, just take your sponge and just kind of rub it in. Right, now, this over here. We're going to add some hot gold. make texture. You can use anything with texture. See, you can add texture to it. Now, I want to give uh, credit for Lindsay, the frugal crafter, for, uh, for this because this is where I actually learned how to do this. So, I'm going to give her credit, Miss Lindsay. Thank you. used makeup sponges. I'm using the kitchen sponge that I cut to be a piece from. And now I'm just blending these colors. Really pretty background. Alright, 
now I'm going to hit this with the heat gun. So now we have this really pretty background for our fairies. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our, um, we'll take our stencil and we're going to find one of our fairies that is absolutely gorgeous and I love my little flying fairy. And I'm going to make her blue like I did her the last time. Take your water and your sponge. Love it. What you're going to do is you're going to just tap it in the she will end up looking like that. Now, if you find that you have bloopered up a section, take your paintbrush, get it wet, take the same color on your paintbrush, and fix those problem areas. Just fill it in. Looks like she's got a big old butt, don't she? But that's actually supposed to be her dress, so we're going to fix that. And so she now has her dress. There we go, we fixed her. Sort of. We fixed her. So there's painting one. Now we are going to put a fairy sitting right here. Looks like she's blowing her butterflies. Now Let's see, what color do we want her? Let's see. Let's make her... Let's go with purple. And we're going to paint her in this one. Let's see if it works. Careful, don't let that stencil move. Alright, we're going to clean that brush. And we're going 
going to see if we can get some butterflies in here. If we can't, we can't. seepage under the wings. But a little bit of water hopefully will take that out. Let's fix her. Let's make her wing better. She's not the best in the world. Mm -hmm. We can always fix her. And this is sort of like watercolor painting. So if you're like, you don't have any watercolors and you've got pastels, these work just as well for watercolor painting. As well. Alright, so we fixed her a little bit. So, it looks like we have a little bit of splatter over here, but that's okay. We can always take our sponge and blend that right back in and out. Alright. Isn't that cool, guys? Kitties are in there and knocking stuff off my kitchen table. Hmm, I wonder if mommy has anything to do with that. Hmm. Alright, let's dry this up. Put a safari back here like she's watching over these two. She's going to be really hot. Right, let's use the sponge technique again. Let's, see. let's make her a pretty pink. She'll turn out. Let's see, let's try. So, there you go. You can paint with pastels, soft pastels. Now, let me try something a little different. I'm going to get that other piece of paper. What we're going to do is we're going to draw on the 
this page. Let's see. Let's see some of that same pink if I can get it out. our fingers to rub to blend all this. that you don't have enough color, you can always go back and add more color. we're going to take our paintbrush and we're going to dip it in the water. What we're going to do is we're going to just play What's nice about this is you bloop it up, you can always take the rag and clean it up.
extra. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to draw a scene up here. I can get it out. Right, I'm going to take my black. I'm going to cut it right here. I need one of those drawing gloves to keep my wrist up off my work.
Cobras, Will the X's. so quiet and just letting y'all enjoy watching my drawing.
is a background using a painted on background with the chalk pastels and then a background with the chalk pastels being applied. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Alrighty guys, I want to thank you all for coming in and watching me today. I will appreciate all of your support and I will hopefully see you guys on my next video. I love you all. Thank you.